Wealth, y'all, is finally about that time. It's finally about that time. It was a long grind, but look what we got here. The God gear. Finally got to it. Jesus Christ, that was a pain in the fucking ass to grind. Body Blazer here coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi collection showcase. All right, this time we're finally gonna be showcasing my homie, my main man, Sasuke, God Killer Sasuke to be exact, or Slayer, or Destroyer, whichever fucking word you want to use, I don't care. But um, we're gonna showcase him in a bunch of different events, and then um, I'm gonna put him in 3v3, and then uh, we'll show you guys what he can do in like a kind of PvP setting since PvP isn't technically here yet. Now, um, I don't know who I want to run in this last slot, but um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Hell, um, let's take a double um, God Killer Sasuke, because why not? And uh, this dude has some pretty solid gear on him right here. Mine is faster than his, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not trying to brag or nothing, but yeah. We're going to run this team right here. This is an, um, a pretty good team right here. I probably would take off this Godly Kakashi for some of the fact is in PvP. I might run into a God Slayer Kakashi. And uh, yeah, I don't want to. Not God Slayer Kakashi. Oh, my God. That would be kind of cool though if we had a God Slayer Kakashi. But there's no such thing. A God Slayer Madara or another God Slayer Sasuke. I mean, I don't know why I said Kakashi. What the fuck was I thinking about? But uh, here he is right here. And look at that sweet ass aura. Ooh, wee, that looks sweet. I, uh, I don't got the sound turned on right now. You, you could hear his voice, but you, you know, you guys got the game, so you guys can hear his voice. But uh, here he is right here. Here's his abilities. Here's his motherfucking. Um, Stats right here, nice beefy stats that I showed you guys early on Twitter and on my uh, YouTube community tab. And here's his stats and his gear right here. Now, this God Gear ticket was a pain in the ass to get. But, like I said, I uh, chose to give him this and um, keep the green one on him to keep his speed up above 1300. Now, keep in mind, if you decide to feed in the two Nindo tickets or a couple of Nindo tickets into him, like I did at the top, as you can see. Uh, keep in mind, it does not increase his um, speed until I think he's max Nindo. I don't know if that's for all units or it's just for the um, champions or god slayers or something like that but i noticed that it didn't increase his speed i thought it was but it didn't but um i'll show you guys probably at the beginning or middle of this video i don't know where i'm gonna showcase show it to you guys but yeah man it doesn't increase his speed i was hoping it would that way i could try to get it to like 1500 or who knows what kind of godly levels i can get it to but who knows and um they need to start giving us some um godly skill scrolls because if they are any i can't think of any but i want this dude to increase his uh his skill level but um, without any further ado, let's get into it right here. Let's get into it. Sasuke Uchiha. Roshaka's uh, Dark Flame. Did I say it, did I say it right? Rakasu, Rosh, Roshaka. It's in the fucking Discord. You guys can see it, goddammit. But um, his first skill is deal 3% plus 2 million to all enemies. Deal 4 times the damage to gods and change the terrain to the glowing darkness resentment. Always hits. Perfect. Growing darkness resentment. All speed minus 100, including your allies. And enemies cast speed minus one. Any enemies gods uh, skill damage minus minus 150 percent. So gods pretty much can't do anything. He is going to be a perfect tank against gods. They'll just pretty much sit there and not be able to do anything to you. Uh, skill level two recover 200,000 HP and speed plus 100,000 to self. Very high chance to remove god state to all enemies. If the enemy is a, a god, guarantee removal of god state. That god state is pretty much any god lead second skill like Kakashi or Pain. Yeah, you can remove that shit now. So now you can attack them all you want, which was a pain in the ass because, like, especially Pain, because he could make himself immune to skill damage. So having a unit that can completely remove that is perfect. Um leader skill let me get over to his leader skills and abilities his leader skill is technique hp and courage hp and speed plus 100 percent um ability one chakra plus 100 speed plus 100 when hp is above 90 percent ability two immune to status effects and cancels perfect so if he runs into a v5 naruto he won't get canceled or does not or does naruto skip i can't remember if he skips or cancels i don't know i can't remember um if there's an enemy god damage cut plus 90 percent ability three um he does like he think he cuts damage and um for increase the skill damage by 50 percent but the funny thing is since yuya translates the um the abilities for these units and stuff looking at the translations it doesn't tell you what it usually tells you how it does like the certain percentage he just says he fucks up um characters with the black attribute which is his um attribute he does more damage to it just says fucks up black 
It is fucking hilarious. And then the other one just says fucks up red and blue and fucks up white. <laughs> I thought that was fucking hilarious. I don't know why. I thought it was funny that he just put that in there like that. But um, his gear to it, his new um, gear that came out in his event, Hatred for the Village. For one turn, chakra cost is set to zero. Starting from the second turn, chakra cost minus 30% HP and chakra quality plus 30%. Um, his second one is the Eternal Monkey Go Sharingan. Um, high chance to dodge skills, speed plus 80% and cast speed plus one. And then I gave him a unit of the um, top gear up here with it's like his Susano. I think it's like for five turns, he's immune to um, Sage Mode. And it looks like Tail Beast or something. It's like pretty much he's immune to Naruto's kind of skills. And then I'm mean, increasing him at HP and skill, skill damage to buff. No, it gives him an HP buff of 100% and skill damage. Cast speed plus um, one. God damn, I can't talk today. I'm too hype. I'm too hype, y'all. I can't, I can't talk today. I'm too damn hype. And then the guy gear gives him an HP buff of 150%. Speed buff of 100%. And uh, I think that's HP recovery plus 20% every turn. But uh, that's enough of that goddamn translating shit. So let's get into it now. This is a team we're going to be running, like I said. And uh, let's get into this event. We're taking that um, left-hand Sasuke because he can increase our skill damage of any Sasuke and Naruto unit by 200%. So that'll be perfect. And I'm curious to see how fast or what kind of buffs I can give my um, for version 1 guy lead Sasuke when he gets the um, 7 star buff. Now, they, it does say it drops the um, everyone's speed by 100%, but I don't notice it, honestly, so yeah. And um, I think this one is mine. Let me see something. Yeah, this one right here is mine. I don't know why I just did that. You, usually when you play with this Sasuke, you just use your um, second skill first. Hey, future Blaze Hood here again. Look, this dude fucked up again. Past Blaze Hood fucked up again. What he meant to say was, instead of using this Sasuke's second skill first, you want to go ahead and use his first skill first. Always use this Sasuke's first skill first. Only use the second skill when you need to remove a god state. I'm so used to just fucking um, just using my second skill first before anything else. So we're going to go ahead and go and hit him with now. Boom, this ultimate is fucking clean. They're dead. And that was like, what was that, 8 million? I'm happy with that. <laughs> I am happy with that. Now, this Kakashi is the only one left. Now I'm going to show you guys what he does against gods in the uh, another event. Hold on one second. I want to get Sasuke to go in the back right there. Yeah. Now let's see what Sasuke can do. Take that fast forward off and come on. Woo! What was that? 16 million? And he wasn't even a god. That's perfect. So let's see what he can do against gods. Um What's an event that has a god? Well, this event has god leader too, but they do AoE and I don't want them to kill off my damn Sasuke before I, before I have a chance to um Increase his skill damage. That's the only problem right there. That's what I'm scared of. I don't want him to get um, killed off before we can increase his skill damage. Because this Sasuke is like a perfect tank. He's meant to sit there and make your guys not be able to do too much to you. That's this perfect. He's just very fucking tanky and I love it. I love tanks. I love units that are just sit, meant to sit there and take damage. He's going to be perfect in PvP because in PvP when you hit auto, your characters automatically hit the character with the least amount of health. So if you built a tank with a, sh with a low amount of health that could tank real good, um, in PvP, you'd probably be set. That's a little PvP tip you guys didn't know that. I think they automatically attack the person with the lowest health on your team. And, um, and when your teammates um, get low on health, your units usually try to increase their um, HP. So let's go on ahead and uh, try to play one of these. I don't want to play Pain. I want to play... Which one was the easier one? Like I said, I don't want to run into... That's Minato and Kagi. I think that was the easier one. Hold on, did I click it? No, I didn't. I clicked the 60 stamina one. Let me click this one right here. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do uh, click that. So here's run Sasuke again. Why not? Oh, yeah, I forgot you can only run two units. Uh I want to run the Sasuke. I'm gonna tr No, nah, he's gonna do AoE and kill this fucking Sasuke. That's gonna be a fucking problem. And I slowed this Sasuke down because what was I do? I was doing something with a damaging event. So let me try to find something to speed this damn Sasuke up with. I just need to speed him up. That way he can um have a better chance of doing something. Shit. Fuck. I took all the gear off this damn Sasuke. Now I'm slowly regretting it. 
Can that increase speed? Yep, he can. Can this one increase speed? What is this? No, it doesn't increase speed. It doesn't even have the speed shit in it. What was I thinking? Hold on, does this one increase speed? Yep. Hopefully that'll be enough. It probably fucking won't, but let's hope. <laughs> I just want to see what Sasuke can do against these units. I don't want to take him in a God Gear event because he probably won't. Actually, I probably could. They might not be that good, especially on the weaker ones. If we fail out of this one, we're going to just take him in the weaker one. Damn it, he died. <laughs> uh. Well, let's just see how much damage he does against gods here. And that wasn't even mine, I don't think. I think that was the um, teammates. That Kaguya got crit for about 17 million. Jesus Christ. I think, hold on, is this one mine? What's this one? Okay, that one was mine that attacked. Okay, cool. That was 17 million. So we're just going to go ahead and end this off right here then. Damn it. I wanted, I really wanted to take him into that. Let me go try to take him in the weaker god event. Cause I, ooh, that was 24 million that time. That dude must have high, a different kind of skill damage on mine. I chose to give mine more speed so we could attack more. Oh, yeah. he hit me. It's over eight, but crit on Kagi for 17. Oh, I want to take him in a god mission, but he probably won't crit. That's the problem. Ah, I want to increase skill damage on this unit so damn bad. What is he? He's the white attribute. Is there? I mean, I, I got to find a white god lead that can um, increase skill damage. That'll be perfect. I wish I could have ran that. I probably can. Yes, I can. Hold on one second. I won't be able to get that 200% increase, but I can run that um, godly Naruto I just showcased. Hopefully, he won't fucking get killed off immediately. Because he can increase um, curse type units skill damage by 100%. So, we'll be able to get a, a, a bigger boost from that. Let's see. Um, I guess we can just take this Naruto right here. I don't give a fuck about this Naruto. Let me put um, that Naruto on the team. And then we put that Sasuke right there. And we'll see what happens now. I just want to see. I just want to see him get his skill damage buffed. <laughs> I can't get it because these godlies are killers. The godlies in the game right now are killers. So I won't be able to get a chance to do it. That's the problem. After this one right over here, we'll go run him in um PV in 3v3 and see what happens. Alright, cool. He didn't kill off my goddamn. Damn, can I go, bitch? Shit. You're annoying me. You're not doing anything to Sasuke. He can heal, so you're not doing any fucking thing. Just, just stop delaying the inevitable, Kaguya, and die. All right, let's see how much he does with, like, a 100% skill damage buff. Because that's what that Naruto's leader skill does, so. 50 million. Ooh, bitch. Ooh. Woo. God damn. Damn. Ugh. I want this fucking Sasuke to get... I want her to... Uh... Damn it, no. Ah, uh, I can only run two units. Fuck, I wish I could run three. Ah. Uh. All right, we're gonna go run him in 3v3 and see what happens. I might be able to run into a god in 3v3, so let's see. If I can run into one in 3v3, I'll swap the team around that way that Sasuke will be on there. And then uh, we'll run him like that and see what happens. All right, let's go to 3v3 real quick. I still need to play it anyway, so. Hey, Future Blaze said back. Hey, because technology hates me, my audio cut out right when I was about to start 3v3. You can't hear anything. All you can see is the sweet animations of this game. So I'm going to come back in and correct what past Blazehood did in technology. And we're going to just voice over this shit because what fucking ever. Um, it would just been awkward as shit having that sit there for like an undisclosed amount of time. And not do anything now right now what you're seeing is this nigga past blaze that go over here trying to put all these motherfuckers on a team and what you're about to see is that this dumbass put way too many god leads on one team thinking he didn't have team cost he didn't think team cost was a fucking factor or he didn't pay attention to it either one now hurry up now you see that look at that in the corner look at that in the corner on the right side you see that look look this motherfucker don't even notice it look how many times he click it look at him See, this is why you need future blazehood, cause past blazehood is he that nigga just dumb. Now look at this, look at this. Look, let's see how many times he fuck up. Oh my gosh, he don't even know what the fuck happening. Look at him, look at it again, look at it again. Finally, this asshole is about to realize it. I can feel it. Come on, there you go. There he realized it. Nah, 
Silly motherfucker, you. Hurry up. Hurry up, lucky boy. There you go. You see, you just threw soccer on there. Now, what you're going to see is, is we're going to run this team right here. Now, of course, we're going to try to crit on one of these guys. Hopefully, we can crit on one of them and get this nice skill, skill damage going. But who knows? I'll wait. I know because I'm Future Blazehood. That's why. Now, like I said before, you're going to want to go ahead and just use your first skill first because you don't ever need to use your second skill um, unless you're trying to remove someone's god state. It's pointless to use your second skill unless you're trying to heal. But, but then again, you can just bring a fucking healer. And you probably have some gear on you too that can um, heal your health every turn. So you really never need to use your second skill unless you're absolutely removing a god state. Now, what you're going to see right here is uh, I'm going to be removing this dude's god state because fuck him. He doesn't need a god state. Wait, hold on. I didn't remove it yet. Past Blazehood didn't remove his god state yet. He just attacked. And what he's failing to realize is this dude got this gear on him. The, um, that new Naruto, he has the gear where he's immune to skill damage for like two turns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Past Blazehood didn't realize he had that on him. So he's just sitting here trying to wait for his turns to go down. Yep, see, he just checked right there. Immune to skill damage for two turns. Now he's got to sit there and just wait for him this turn to get over so we can actually do some fucking damage to him we don't have a sage mode naruto on this team so it's not like we just basic attack him to death and he has so much health it wouldn't even matter we removed the god state already so we're good actually lee i don't think this naruto's gonna do any fucking thing to us yeah he didn't do anything to us the only person he damaged was fucking sakura but origin sakura is meh I don't know what it is about this bitch. She just has not done anything for me since she came out. And I'm starting to get tired of her ass. And his god state has been removed. So that's good for us. He doesn't need to be able to stack his damage. Let's go on ahead and kill this motherfucking version. Six god lead Naruto. Boom. I slowed it down so we could see what the skill damage looks like. It looks like it was 8 million or 88 million. I can't tell. It was all off the screen. I think it was 8 million. 8 million on this dude right here and then Hashirama is going to be withstanding attacks for about five turns so yeah but uh that's going to be it for this video right here guys you guys don't want to see Hashirama withstand all these attacks if you guys like this video then with the like comment share subscribe all that bullshit this be your boy future blazehood peace out